Following my impressive win, Coach Velasquez has picked Wayne Lara. But why Wayne Lara? I'm the last pick in the house. And this man is the third pick for Travis Brown. So I'm gonna be training. I'm gonna be doing everything I can to be able to put the best performance possible. Not everybody is expecting me to win, but after training, I knew that my hands would be ready as they would just grow in strength. The next day, we heard Dana White saying a couple of things about us. You know, every season you get guys that you look at and this guy could be pretty good. There's about four guys here that I really like and think have some serious potential. So in comes Wayne Lara, fighting out of Glendale, Arizona. And he looks like he wants to do damage. It doesn't matter though. He has three losses and his reach is longer. But I'm no stranger to impossible missions. Back when I was in the military, that's all I got tasked to do. I remember this one time, we're supposed to take over a base. And things, they got a little bit hectic. But now, it's a different scenario. We're in the UFC and nerves have to be calm. The beginning of the match, we go into a brief exchange, feeling each other out, moving around, but he was willing to take the center of the octagon and be the aggressive force. I, on the other hand, had to work more on evasiveness and parrying and blocking. Eventually, I take the clinch because I wanted to work something I was working in training, which is knees to the face. And I managed to do that, but he, he, he wised up, he starts grabbing me, pulling me back and starts dirty boxing with me. Throwing some some sharp, sharp knees, uh, some sh crisp punches. Then he grabs me in the clinch and starts throwing knees on me. But I got out and repositioned. Started to get a little bit more comfortable in the fight. Started swinging more, but as I did that, my stamina was going down. You know what happens when stamina goes down? Accidents. I got careless. Lara, went immediately for the kill. I tried to back up, I tried to fight back, but his punches were raining heavy. Every time he hit me, it felt like he was rocking me. There was nothing I could do against his power. And eventually, I went down. It's moments like these, when your mind tells you to give up, that it's over. But I know I've been through worse. And that time, when I was at war, I fought through it. We were down and out. Things were collapsing for us. But champions rise to the occasion. And I, I want to be champion of the ultimate fight. So we got back up, suplexed the opponent down, and Lara is in for a world of trouble. Because I've been here before. I've been counted out. Impossible missions, impossible victories. No matter what, I pushed forward, I persevered, and I managed. You gotta look past the pain. Whenever you feel like giving up, just remember, the worst part is over. You already felt the pain. There's nothing worse after that. So stand up, fight through it. And Alex Bourne, after being down and out, even before the fight began, managed to pull off a submission victory and keep his record intact. For all of you guys that are watching, I just got one message to tell you. Don't give up, follow those dreams, you'll achieve them. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you liked the video. I did a lot of work, a lot of editing on it. For those of you who are new to the channel, subscribe if you like the content. Then your boy Full Metal Zoe and I'm out.